Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana. Today we're doing one of these I make my own world videos. Yay! Today the Munch family is uh, it's their turn and this was a lot of fun. I like giving Sims makeovers, I really do. And I like this style. I like the style I put the boys in and I think the munch, do I remember this correctly? I think it's mostly boys. I think it's three brothers, which I was surprised about. I was, I guess I didn't expect them to be brothers, which shows how much I actually know about this family. I probably never played with them. Um, for example, Gunther, I know he used to be another let's play that I did. And I probably give him a makeover or something, but there's something about him. He doesn't have the looks he deserves. He deserves to look really good, and he just doesn't. He's not yet. He's not there yet. Not yet, at least. But now he is. Mm. Gunter is a snack. Mm. And not just any kind. It's not like you're low carb, you know. Low carb, no fat, no sugar, you know, gluten free snack. No, no. This is like a, a gooey chocolate brownie maybe more like a vanilla brownie but you know it's still gooey with like these chocolate chips and good oh my god i want a brownie now i literally think about food all the damn time now ah, that's so fun <laughs> all right uh, back to this video somehow i always seem to drift off in like finch family i okay so it's kind of crazy what the game does when you don't play with it i know this has always been in sims besides sims 2 but ever since sims 3 it's kind of like open world they kind of marry who they want to they get people pregnant and things like that and yeah it also happened for the gun the gunter <laughs> the munch family gunter still doesn't have a wife he has no girlfriend i don't think he's ever had one which i'm pretty sure is gonna change very soon because he's looking mm, that brownie he's totally like a brownie now like mm, do vanilla brownies even exist what if it does i want one and then the oldest, the oh yeah, the older two brothers. Okay, so one of the brothers actually has a girlfriend or a wife, not sure, and they have a kid together. And then the other brother, I'm not sure who's the oldest, maybe Gunter is. The other brother also has a child, but we don't know who his wife is. I mean, I do, but I kind of want to keep it a surprise. I mean, if I ever end up giving this game, you know, to someone to see file, I want them to be surprised and be like, oh, wow, never saw this plot twist coming. But nobody's going to be like that, but I still would love to put it in there just because I can. Um, yeah, so um, in my mind, okay, so I remember the parent was still alive, right? Um, I think that's how the game came to be i think it was his mother and the three kids i'm not sure they were living in windenburg i know that much now they're living here because all three of them have moved in with another i think i'm not exactly sure why now now that i think about it but i think they oh i remember i made the story that after the death of their mother the three of them were kind of you know they wanted to live together they wanted to move in i think gunter was really hard i don't know hopefully it wasn't hard that's not good i mean he must be some sometimes but okay you know this is going the wrong way i just meant to say that it was hard for the boys because they were like a mama's boy right there were no no girls just them and and the two moved in into their apartment but then Right? One of the guys moved into the apartment. I don't know which munch. It's like a munch or whatever. One of them moved into the apartment with his kid and the girlfriend or the wife, whatever. And then because the other dude has, you know, a kid and he's all alone and he has nobody to take care of. He was like, you know what? Why don't we just move in? You know, we'll have an extra room. You can just share on with your boy and um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Like all Gucci, right? And then Gunter was like, what about me? Like, I want to be pamper too, right? So they made like a little place for him in the in the house. Eventually, my plan is, is that if I can find Gunter and his girlfriend, perhaps he will move out. Maybe there's going to be some plans in the future. Maybe you can do that in your own time. You know, there's enough time for that, for that to be honest. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, also, <laughs> let me just give some... <laughs> okay, I'm going to give my two cents in this. 
right so i was gone for like 10 days i think or seven seven or, seven or ten days and i'm always gone because i upload and i need like a mental break apparently so that's what i did and when i came back i realized that oh there was a pedophile in the community right i didn't know about this because well i don't really talk to young kids and um most people that play sims or at least who are well, okay most people that play sims are really active on twitter and talk to each other or have groups and followers and blah 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 are usually kids and i don't entirely talk to kids because i don't really fit in with the kids because i'm not a kid myself i mean i look like i'm 12 but i'm not actually 12 i'm kind of you know like 10 years over 12 um so I don't really mingle with them. I do talk to people that I know, and sometimes if someone comments, you know, I'll call them back. It's not like I'm, you know, ignoring them, but I don't, you know, I don't fit in that category. It's like grandma going to knit and then starts talking to a little kid on the internet. I mean, that's kind of like a, okay, that's an actual pedophile, but you know what I mean? Like you don't, grandma will kind of talk to her grandma friends and then teens will talk to teens and babies will babble to babies, whatever, and drool on you. That's kind of cute because it's a baby. If it wasn't a baby, that would be cool. But, bottom line. Yeah, I don't mingle, okay? So, I come back and I realize, oh, wow, there's a pedophile. And I come to learn that the Sims team knew about this. And I was like, mm. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. You can, you can come for me, but how many times have I applied to be um, for in the Sims 4? Like, um, what do you call it? A game changer? Not a game changer? I don't know what you call that. How many times have I applied? I think six times. I think so. I think I've pretty much applied every single time that they had like an offer an open place whatever yeah i get it i don't just play sims 4 i get it i'm dutch i'm not like in some sort of american well i'm not american but you know what i mean i'm not american i sound american but i'm not american i'm just a european you know maybe article 13 is like kind of scary so ooh, don't don't invite the dutch person that sounds american we want a dutch person to probably speak dutch that's probably why i'm not invited or because i'm just too honest and too blunt and just a plain asshole playing the sims 4 and sims 2 mostly mostly playing sims 2 and complaining about the sims 4 that's probably why nobody really wants me to be in the team but how does a pedophile <laughs> right how does a pedophile i don't care how old he is i heard that he's like kind of young himself probably over the age of 18 or it's not pedophilia but still i'm like how does a person like that get acknowledged as a game changer or accepted in the community and has like a good channel and why does my channel suck you know how does a pedophile have his life together and i don't i feel kind of attacked <laughs> like like how in the fuck sorry but how in the fuck do you let a pedophile be around these people and how is he a game changer like don't you do like some background screening don't you like make sure that people are genuinely good you know if you know i'm shit enough not to invite me you know or accept me you should know that that guy is not good enough to be a game changer just me. and then nobody's really taking responsibility after that like I heard that they knew for three months and they were just like, mm, yeah, well, we're taking care of it. You know, you don't really tell uh, someone that just, you know, has a friend that's been killed and you know about it and be like, well, I've taken care of it by saying that he doesn't need to do it again. It's it's a murderer. If he, if he stabs once, he's going to stab twice. Same with pedophilia. If he touches once, he's going to touch twice. If, if he tries to get some once, he's going to get some twice, you know? Because for one, it's a man. A man seemed to have a trouble these things by Edward, no. Like, that just seems a fact. Like, no offense if you're a good guy out there, but most guys these days are like, no, what is that? What is the fuck is no? And second of all, if he really is just a little over 18, he's probably still stupid because most boys in the teens, not just boys, but also girls in the teens, teenagers are just stupid. Don't want to try shit. You really think, oh, just because I said him no, he's gonna just take the no and just move his business? Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. That's not how it works. You know why there's so many pedophiles locked up in jail? Yeah. That's the same reason why, you know, saying no doesn't work. It just, it is not a thing. It's just not a thing. And the fact that they refuse to take responsibility for that is just sad. It's, it's really sad. But yeah, that was my two cents about that, and I'm just kind of like shocked that nobody wants me to be a game changer, but then this pedophile seems to get it, so maybe I have, maybe I'm too good. Wow, never thought about that. Have you thought about that? Maybe we are too genuine of people. Have you thought about that? Maybe we're just too genuine of people to get accepted. Anyway, 
that was the end of this. I am going to let you enjoy the rest of the video as much as you can enjoy it because it's just a video of me doing shit. Yeah. And I hope you have a great day. What's left of this day. Have a great moment. Make something out of it. Eat some extra. Probably don't. Maybe work out some extra. I'm trying to give healthy advice, but neither of those sounds really good. How about you just sleep a lot? Go to bed early. That sounds nice. Yeah, that's, that sounds safe and healthy. Alright. Um, yeah. Bye.